Now it's time to move on to lookalike audiences. And these are sort of one step upwards from custom audiences, one step slightly more advanced than custom audiences. And these are some of my favorite audiences that I tend to get my best results with. So before we begin and delve into lookalike audiences in detail, let's just cover what actually is a lookalike audience. So let me explain. A lookalike audience is often referred to by people in Facebook groups and forums, etc., as an LAA or an LLA. Now, these abbreviations, they're different, but they mean exactly the same thing. They refer to lookalike audience. If someone's talking about a lookalike audience, they will say an LAA or an LLA. They're built using data from existing audiences, so you can't just go ahead and create a lookalike audience from thin air like you can an interest-based audience. You have to have prior data to build from. And that's because lookalike audiences are built and are created um, as a similar audience to someone else you already have data on. You can't just build a lookalike audience from scratch. You have to have a source. And these are our sources for lookalike audiences. You can use custom audiences, which you've already learned can be built themselves from multiple different sources, or from Facebook pages that you own or operate. But what is a lookalike audience? Facebook uses the information that they have on people in the audience you select as a source. So if we go back, Facebook uses the information and the data they have gathered from the people in either your custom audience or the people on or who have interacted with your Facebook page. They use that information to they aggregate this data and they use their information and their technology to build new lists of people, new audiences who have shared characteristics with your source audience. So what I'm saying is they will take your source, they will take your custom audience or your Facebook page audience and they will look at the characteristics, they'll, get, they'll aggregate this audience and they'll look at the people in this and they'll take the characteristics and they will then go ahead and find other people on Facebook with similar shared characteristics as your source audience. Now these characteristics can be age, gender, location, behavior, interests and other things too. And they're sort of a clone of your previous audience. They're sort of a clone of your custom audience or they're a clone of the people who've interacted with or who have liked your page. They're not a perfect exact clone, so they're an imperfect clone. They're very similar, but they're not quite the same. And what do percentages mean? You'll see in this section that lookalikes can be 1%, 2%, and up to 10%. And they also have abbreviations such as US, GB, DE, FR, etc. And right now this means nothing to you. So let me explain what both the percentages and abbreviations refer to and mean. Abbreviations are very easy. These are basically the country that you create your lookalike audience from or in, rather. So when you're creating a lookalike audience, you have to select at least one location, one country, or trade region. Now, once you've selected this country, it will be referred to using an abbreviation. And that is what these abbrevi abbreviations are. They just refer to the country that you're using in your lookalike audience. The percentages refer to the audience size in relation to the total population in the country you choose. So let's say we chose US, then the percentage of that audience, be it 1%, 2%, 3%, 5%, would refer to the population size in relation to the total population of the US. And the smaller the percentage, the closer the lookalike audience is to your source audience. So for example, a 1% LAA is more similar to your source audience than a 2% LAA. So the larger the percentage, the more imperfect the clone. The 1% is the, the people that are, Facebook believes are most similar, most like your source audience provided. And the further you go up upwards to 10%, the less similar they become. And if you're still confused, don't worry, this section will show you everything in real time from creating audiences to using audiences. 
and I will go through in a lot more detail over the shoulder with lookalike audiences and by the end of the section you'll be confident with your knowledge of lookalike audiences you'll know how they work, you'll know how to create them and you'll know what they are. So if you're ready to begin let's get started.